Hello and welcome back guys. This is Babyhead and today we're going to concentrate basically on a British style retail park. Now a British style retail park is kind of different to how the Americans see us because we tend to have like these big massive warehouse buildings next to a big huge car park area. Now the British people that actually watch this video will understand where the hell I am going with this and the Americans and everyone else is probably going to be a bit pickled of what I'm going to say. Now when it comes to a retail park, us British, we can design a nice retail park, right? We can design nice things to go around the retail park, but guess what? We cannot design car parking for shit, right? And I'd, I'd sorry for swearing, but it is the god honest truth that there is no way of putting this nicely is that the fact is that you spend half of your time going into these retail parks trying to find a parking spot. Now what I mean by this is you want say want to go to I don't know we've got pets at home right you've got your you want to take your dog with you or oh, and you've got your, your kids you've got uh, yourself you've got basically you've brought the it's a family day out right you spend half your time driving around that damn car park to try and find a damn parking spot and when you do find one you literally have about a nanosecond to try and get in there because if you don't get in there someone else will jump straight in front of you and actually take it away from you so <laughs> unfortunately we're not going to do that on this uh, you know uh, in our city we're going to have adequate parking which as we all know city skylines you, you they either park on the side of the road and then that that's that's the end of it they, they, these assets are only there for um how can i describe it more you know just there f for pleasing purposes not just for um how can i describe it just just there to be you to be used so our retail park as you can see i've placed a roundabout with a bit of a junction area is going to be along here now it's not i don't know if it's going to turn out to be a big retail park we may just expand as we go along <coughs> excuse me also on this episode we will uh, fit in some bus lines because at the moment we don't have any public transport um, going at the moment everyone is using the roads I've expanded our little um, uh, residence up here uh, for the simple fact is it was crying out for residents and I needed a bit of money and I needed a bit of a, a cushion buffer to to do this episode now you also will notice on the last episode we built a um, like a cargo hub now I got rid of that because the train was coming in and then disappearing the boat was coming in then disappearing and i was noticing i was losing money now as soon as i got rid of it i jumped up about say nearly three grand in profit i don't know why i i think it could be just where the position of it was it was just confused so it just despawned so that is the only thing i can think of and i was just looking at this now and i've just seen it with Probably eventually what we'll probably do is bring this rail rail line down here instead of trying to push it up onto this uh, uh, hillside here. But that is probably for something off camera. Also you'll notice I got rid of the, um, the main avenue which connects this up with that road. So now it's all just this here. So you run along the main avenue hit this roundabout and then you decide which way you want to go but unfortunately as you can see it is slightly causing a bit of a headache so that's probably something another thing for for me to do off camera but another thing that I have noticed as well is that I put heavy, ban heavy traffic on here now I can't remember when I did that I, I honest to god I can't remember what, how I did it or when I did it or or anything but anyway I've moved the um, the rail station from over here to over there now the reason behind that is off camera I did experiment a bit and I was just like oh my god this rail this rail line is gonna cause me a headache so eventually we're gonna have that rail line just follow the road you know around you know into the uh, hillside itself so 
because we do we probably have a rail network in our retail park um you know it's some at some point anyway at the moment it's just going to be a bus line network at the moment excuse excuse me a sec <clears throat> um so what we're going to concentrate on today is a big retail park and possibly make it a bit more fancier a little bit of you know look like some businesses have put some money in you know into it so you know it's it's going to be like a, a semi um big retail park so because as you can see we do have uh, a lot of uh, commercial demand <coughs> <coughs> sorry i told you I, I i got this stupid bug um but also what i'm going to do is not have the um the theme enabler now what this is going to do is instead of having shops like that it's just going to have if you remember on the industrial estate that we did uh, you know certain shops and it's gonna end up looking something like that now if it turns out to be a bit more of mm, don't like the look of that then we will put it back into the you know the theme of the rest of it as it all turns night and now I can't see Jack there we are I'm just gonna have to do it from up here but anyway let's continue building so sit back and uh, I, I guess just listen to me waffle on for the next couple of minutes or however you want to put it so we're gonna concentrate on right so I want to have um, hmm I'm gonna do this eventually I want it to run underneath all that and then connect that that way so that the industrial traffic don't come up on here so we can bypass it all completely so if I have that there for now and then have let's see take that road and let's move that down there um, no I don't want to curve so if we make it then see from here I don't I don't know whether I want a double road and then it splits off so you have one going down there and then split off there and there and there how does that look? Let's have a look. See, he's got that bit of a wonk. I, I don't really particularly want that. Um, so what we could do is if I... Yeah, make it like that. So it's not exactly like a box shape. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, a bit, it's a bit different. And in our not-so-unique buildings, we've got all these. Now... In any British retail park, we've got like uh, a McDonald's and as uh, not McDonald's, yeah, yeah, we got McDonald's, Burger King, uh, Asda or Tesco's or whatever. Mainly, <coughs> sorry, uh, mainly the um, the retail parks are built around either a big supermarket of some sort. So if I, I'm gonna probably build that there. Now the reason behind that is I'm going to put a McDonald's, say, here, with like a car park up right there. And then we're going to have uh, the warehouse is, let's see, um, if we get that there, and then we go, let's take that straight, say about there. There, and there. Again, do that. Here. Obviously, it's going to intrude on that. But if you notice, we've sort of not made it into a box. Where we started off with just a box to start with, now we sort of start putting shapes in our little box. So it's so it's going to come out a bit different. So if we start off with 
let's uh, say a Tesco's right there no um, let's say there so they can see it as they come off the the road yeah now I'm gonna pause it there because obviously it's gonna have uh, consequences otherwise now what happens usually is that they'll have like a big car park just designated to uh, the whole retail park itself so I did download a car park because remember last episode we were, uh, one of the ep uh, I think the beginning episode we were trying to find uh, a car park which is suitable it was like a small one but we couldn't find it now I did download a flat car park not one like that is that it no a seawall um, let's see it's a building building again building building it looks like it's gonna have to be like a, a building so you see you've got this the small one you've got the big one I thought I did download it um, what's that that's tennis court um, let's see small car park here we go there we go so it's it's so you've got that and you've got that see so you've got the extra car park allocated you know from Tesco's itself now the way we're going to do this is that we're going to do the same again but obviously we're going to create say this side and that side like that and then we're going to grab our uh, warehouses which are absolutely massive by the way um, let's get some of the, the popular ones so you've got uh, Argos you've got Iceland Tesco's boots boots is always there you know you're guaranteed there's a boot let's grab some you know boots sports direct is another popular one uh, pets at home as I mentioned earlier so we have that there uh, Mapland home base is another one so we could possibly uh, can we put you there do you reckon um, let's see free expand so if we make that like that yeah I could make this one way if I'm perfectly honest if we find out <clears throat> if we find out there's going to be a lot of traffic then I might um, make it one-way system it might just save on a lot of headaches you know in the future and Toys R Us it's always a Toys R Us and there right <laughs> so you've got this sort of effect and then what we're gonna do is I might I don't know what do you think um, see because we could put another um, we got pets at home do we put a home base do you know what I can't definitely put a Toys R Us already <clears throat> car phone warehouse so if we put a car phone warehouse there and say a carpet right oh just don't fit so in that case then so that would probably be some of the warehouses and then what we're going to do is that i'm going to get a like a pedestrian path <coughs> excuse me and put either side of the car park all right so they can walk from here up etc and then what we're going to eventually do is have a like probably I'll probably put a metro station somewhere say in the middle here uh, or around here so what we're going to do for over here is exactly the same 
Uh, let's see. Let's use some of the other ones. So we have that. I can't remember where we put Maplin down. So we're going to put that down. The range. Uh, what else? Curries. Curries or PC World, as it's called now. And yeah, it's starting to come along. And what we're going to do then is have an Odeon. <coughs> they need somewhere to uh, watch the latest movies. So we see we've got all this space here at the back as well. So let's have you there with let's see if I can do it. Is that it? There we go. And there we go. So that so the audience got his own parking space because everyone watches uh, films these days. You know, spend a fortune on cinema tickets. Um there are people out there, they'll turn around and go, oh, go and download it or go and watch stream it or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I must admit, I have done it in the past. Um, but for some reason, my thing... But if I press minus or plus now, it's going to stop the recording. So we'll do that. <clears throat> I'll probably do that off camera, just fill in like the little tiny gaps with trees and stuff like that. Um, Let's see what else can we fit in. Say this little spot here. Um, what's this? Dartery, whatever that is. I have no idea what that is. Probably darts, maybe. I don't know. Now we are going to need, um, obviously the. Oh, it's being Q. Never forget being Q. Always get being Q. Um, obviously we're going to need. Uh, there we go. I forgot we had up here as well. Let's see. Let's have an Iceland. Waitrose. Oh, that's massive. Um, let's see. What's that? That's Ikea. Oh, God. That's huge. So we'll have Ikea right on the corner. Yeah, right there. We'll have Ikea right on the corner. See, so as you, as you drive down, you see Ikea. You see a bit of Tesco's. So it's all all mashed in together um what else what's this transport tower no um let's see what else can we place down that oh petrol station yep we definitely need one of them but then again tesco's generally have their own petrol station but just to simulate it we're just gonna have um say Let's see. And generally, it's it's like a side road off Tesco. So, and then it's so. What I might do is have. Uh, let's see. Let's go to about there, right? No, that's not it. Now, if you can hear, like heavy rain in the background, it's because it's non-stop raining in Britain for the last say 30, 30 odd days. And it, it's getting to the point now where everyone's going, hmm, I'm never, you know, we're not going to enjoy snow. Well, apparently it is forecast to be snow, so we'll see. They did start the um, beginning of, like, September, and they said, oh, well, this is going to be the worst, coldest winter we've ever had. And it, it's not for us. It, it's, it's very wet. And unfortunately, a lot of people are suffering because... The rivers are overflowing, and it, it, it's kind of a pain in pain in the backside. But then the, the the government then has the cheek then to turn around and say, "Oh, host pipe ban." <laughs> so it, it's it's a double-edged sword. Um, so as you see, we got Iceland, we got B and Q, we've got Toys R Us, Pets at Home, Boots, Sports Direct, a bit of car parking. You know, this is very inadequate for what we've got here, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try and see if we can, like the smaller one. No, not even the small. Oh, the smaller one fits there and there, but there's going to be like a daft gap. So I don't know whether to. I don't know. No, I think I'll. I think I'll keep it. And then what I'll do is then 
we'll have like well that's not gonna fit so we're gonna have to try and make it look hmm and then put trees on either side possibly like that and then put trees along there trees along there and let's see what else right we did say we we're gonna go like a McDonald's or a Burger King drive-through thing so what we're gonna do how am I gonna do this let's think usually with a drive-through it's one way in it so um, let's have let's think now Um, the weirdest thing is because the the McDonald's tend to have that one-way system going around it, but then you also get some in retail parks that they don't have that one-way system. So obviously the drive-through is the one way, but then where it connects isn't the one. You know where the actual McDonald's bit is isn't like isn't one way at all. Which is kind of a BMW dealership. What else have we got? Rent a car. Yep, we can get that. Uh, well, these, they're just ploppable, that is. What's this? Hmm. Government office. No, not yet. We're not big enough. Not big enough to make a big government. <coughs> um, there's a McDonald's. Obviously, oh, I knew that was going to happen. We're going to have problems. So you know, because it because it's the bend. It, it's because of the the actual bend itself, which is always causing a nightmare. Because my ideas are that you know I, I don't want everything to be you know flush and straight. So if we have that there. Yeah, if you lived in this area, it would be brilliant. It, you, you, you know, it'd look really nice. Right, so obviously we're not cutting into our commercial um, stuff just yet. But we will be, um, say, just filling in these, like, gaps here. So you've got, like, some commercial building um, popping up. So if we make... Let's see. Can we... We don't know. If we make that commercial, and so can that, I suppose, before it falls off the cliff. There we go. And we'll make. Actually, where's the corner of this? Th that's the corner. So if we grab that, looks a bit. Mm, no, because I, you know, hmm. yeah, that's right. Um, three. If we grab. Yeah, we could do high density, I suppose. Say high density there. That it'd be more. It'd be more ideal to do high density in this area, really. I really think about it. And and yeah, because it'd be more ideal to have high density. I come to think of it, because it is like a a purpose-built area for uh, retail itself. So if we just have little blocks of it, so that should cover the demand. If I'm if I'm quite honest. Um. The only thing I'm scared of is I don't want them to be high-rised, so I'm going to probably district this bit and then make it high-rise ban, which would probably make more sense. So if we then, let's see, get rid of that and then straighten it out like so. Then we're going to have, i tell you what we are probably thinking about doing. A statue of wealth. Now don't forget, these statues are to tied in with the 
uh, monuments. Now we haven't started on the monuments, so I possibly won't start it yet because of the because of our population being so low. It, it's not really ideal, but we could have a bit of a. If you live down here, you, the the level of the buildings down here would be absolutely, uh, you know, massive. Um, also, we got to think about a uh, bus station. So bus stations are generally off the um, the main road, but then connected via, uh, especially you know in this area but this is more of a retail park where they can drive in now i now because i don't have traffic plus plus with traffic plus plus you've got your own pedestrianized road so um no cars can go down but at the moment um I, i'm doing a bit of research trying to figure out whether the, the uh the, some of the roads that i have got actually on this game because if you notice we got some like double yellow lines and and certain like um uh, you know pedestrian walk things and, and parkway you know parking bay avenues and stuff like that that is generally it's like the uh, I think it came under the British road layout or something like that um, road markings now but that isn't compatible with traffic plus plus now if I find that my traffic is getting a bit horrendous and the AI is getting a bit you know dopey I will probably put traffic plus plus down because majority of this the British cities now, of what I can remember, are pedestrianised now, as in the centre of the city, there is no cars. The only time cars can go down is, I think it's something like between seven and half nine, or something like that, to, to offload their deliveries and then that's it, then they can piss off and go and do whatever they want. Um, but I find that when you're building especially on city skylines that you start doing pedestrianized roads it can get very complicated very quickly because the deliveries are not getting there um pedestrians do get there sort of um because in my previous season we we started doing a pedestrianized uh, zone and then we found out every zone every like um commercial building in that zone couldn't get deliveries and then we were like oh we have to make it you know traffic it got a bit hectic but we i think i think if i remember right off the top of my head we did sort it out eventually but anyway <clears throat> stop digressing chris let's get on with this um let's see bmw dealership where can dealerships go i can't remember where i so if we add that say there and we're probably going to need like basic services down because they're going to start complaining otherwise so if we have say a police station which should cover all that we'll have a metropolitan hospital so the big one City hospital capacity capacity ah there we go um that is going to possibly be say here no um let's let's move this road up say it, we're gonna tuck this away into the corner I think yeah so. It, it's, it's it's like it's there, but it's not blatantly there, if that makes any sense. You'll see that, you, you'll be able to see it, regardless. Do you know what I mean? You, you will be able to see it. Um, now we're going to have to start thinking, oh, I wish I didn't spend so much money on that now. Uh, now we're going to have to start thinking about our bus station, our bus terminal. Now, we don't want these old, large bus uh, depots. Uh, advanced brick modular that will probably suit it more because at the moment we we're, we're not that big but we're not that small in this area to be honest um <coughs> but also i want uh uh i don't know i'm gonna go for the big bus station i think i think that would 
possibly make more sense. So if we, oh, oh I want it to go there. Um, and then build a path across. Or we could, no, but that's going to stop the traffic. See, if I put it there, the traffic's just going to interfere with the, you know, the bus line's going to interfere with the, the traffic and it is just going to cause a headache. There we go. Let's have, let's have it. Which way? See, there, right? So we got a bus network and we're definitely going to, well, piping is already in, but let's just make sure. Electricity wise, we've got enough, but where can we pull it from? So if we pull the the wires for now, uh, let's see, let's across there, and and I'm gonna do my usual little trick where. I'm going to build like a, a transformer station. See there, which that will cover there. But then, um, hmm. Okay, we'll put the one there just for just for now. Um, what else do we need in this area? It makes it look you know, a bit of a retail park. Um, got the roundabout there. Let's see. If we can possibly got some billboards. Now I don't know how these billboards work. Now, to me, these billboards look really small and dinky, and and I'm not too fond of them. So, because this is a you know, it's not big bite, but you know what, I, what I'm trying to get at. You know, grab your meal type of thing, and because it's a block end as well. Block end mean dead end. Not a lot of people realise that. That's you know. Uh, grab your burger and grab your fuel. <laughs> I might get rid of that. That just looks stupid. Um, I don't know yet. Uh, let's see. What else can we fit in? I'm thinking of possibly. Let's see. Um, another thing with Traffic Plus Plus as well, which is another good thing, is that it has a um, uh, a road uh, a road just for buses. So it's just a bus lane road, and that would be really ideal just to go into into the bus station, just right here. That would be awesome if you know if I just had that. Uh, where else do we need to fit in? Possibly a uh, fire station. Fire station always handy anyway. So we have that there. So we have the services. And... Hmm. That's about it, I think. Also, then we're going to have to possibly think about uh, bus networking. Now, obviously, there is no bus station or anything here. Excuse me a sec. Sorry, just had a quick drink there. Also, we got to have, um, we're thinking about maybe a bus depot. Now, we don't have a bus depot. One of these. Unless these now work as an old bus depot, yeah. See, so we can possibly have that... Um, can we squeeze that in? What's that anyway? That's the police station. So if we move police station to over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And have the bus depot there. Now we've like near enough completely run out of money now. Um, but also let's, let's link up the bus network, the bus line. Now, this is going to be a massive headache and a half. Now, what you got in the uh, left side, I've got this uh, mod, which is, um, it adds extra vehicle options. Now, what this vehicle options allows you to do is pick a bus and then use it. As in, you can change the capa uh, passenger capacity 
the mate well the maintenance cost goes up regardless as in if you change the, that to higher you know, the ticket prices you can change the max speed if you change the max speed on a bus and you use auto budgeter the auto budgeter will automatically pick the fastest bus there is right so i'm just going to push that up to say 30 right well no no not 200 bring now that's too fast right now i'm hoping it will pick the london bus because obviously this is a british city so i don't particularly want um let's just i uh, i i don't know right so and i i like my little red buses i you know i i lived in london for quite a bit and you know i, I did like the red bus type designs so let's pick the uh station stop to so create a line and obviously it's gonna have to come up here you know it is really gonna have to come up here but also we're gonna have to try and figure out how it's gonna go around as in i don't know well because i'm highlighting so if it comes through this roundabout it's gonna take this left then go up this road take that road no come on there we go so this is going to be the like um how can i put it the the, the bus that stops at every corner of the, of the of the uh of the town now you everyone's got one of them buses where you'll either get one that's like a direct route to where you want to go and then you've got one bus then they'll just take the mic and then just decide i know i'll just stop at every possible corner do you know what I mean? and it, it it is kind of a bit of a uh a loopy uh situation but because this is the um like how can i describe it the burial grounds of our uh, Sims that you know they may want to pay their respects to the loved ones. You never know. And got some crime there. Don't know why there's police stations everywhere, quite literally everywhere. And there, there. Someone's tooting the horn outside. Don't know whether you lot heard that. And there. Now also I've noticed in this city we don't have a uh, well we do have a high school but it's only one high school so it seems to be working fine but yeah I've yet to um, possibly well you can actually have a bus stop on a roundabout considering this is like a little commercial zone someone beeping their horn as usual now i want to possibly yeah okay we'll have a stop at tesco's and then yeah that's about right and then come out so it's going that way so we want possibly go can we go this way please 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 go this way yeah because we wanted to try and go to um um I'm going to put a stop there so it recognises we want to try and get it to go to this zone over here you know all the industrial as well so this is the major major bus line as in the long one that goes absolutely everywhere you know so I don't know I I get a feeling you know with some bus drivers they some of them prefer short journeys and then some of them prefer long journeys because it just keeps them occupied whereas short journeys just like off like that so i don't know who's beeping their horn outside but i'm really sorry if you lot can hear it it's kind of annoying um and then also obviously we want to come over here so let's, let's get that up there and if you work i don't know do we get one because it might interfere with the traffic flow of that definitely need to get one in here so I'm gonna uh, see if you're going through there. So if we go and stop there, uh, there, and then back down. So which is the way out? Which is here. So and then it will be just be a straight through back round 
route. Yep, that's right. So now we click complete, complete line. And as you see that we have uh, 39 stops, auto budgeting is obviously paused, right? But as you can see that if we add uh, select types of vehicles, right, we can choose which bus uh, we want. Now, I don't really know the names of these buses. I'm not a bus uh, enthusiast, but I'm assuming because it's, uh, there's one that's called British Cab. Don't know what that is, but um, I definitely know that's probably the, the red London bus, which we change the speed of. So if we add that to the queue, we add vehicle. Um, now if we do, I might just see, just to show you how uh, auto budgeting, there we go. Because we changed the speed of the actual bus, it's actually chosen all the buses for us. And it's chosen 44 vehicles. That is just absolutely phenomenal about the buses. Phenomenal, yeah. Um, it's made them blue. <laughs> Not red, they're blue. I think that's because obviously the uh, the color of the route. Um, but nevertheless, their buses never the same. Um, they're quite old buses too, by the looks of things. They are the British style buses. No, they're doing these funky wheel spins and brakes. It's like what the hell? Um, obviously, our budget has dropped dramatically because of the, uh, the amount of buses. Now, I don't know. Let's see. What 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 is this vehicle? So if I set that to say thirty-five. Oh, but oh, it's a cab. That's why. That explains quite a lot. Because if you notice how much passenger capacity, and then what, what what's this one? Is this the bendy bus? I wouldn't mind the bendy bus because we are sort of modern in a way. Um, let's, let's move that back down. What was that? That was say say twenty. Hello and welcome back, guys. I don't know what happened, but somehow I pressed pause on my recording. I don't know where I was previously on the recording. I was just mumbling on to myself and I'm not sure where the recording stopped. So if you if it's a big gap and I don't know if it is and I don't know if it's not. Now I what I did was was the buses and then all of a sudden I, I looked up and looked at the, how long I've got left or what the time was and I noticed that it was on 40 minutes and then I noticed the pause symbol so I don't know whether um, it paused because I changed the bus network I don't know but anyway as I was saying about the buses um, that's if we that's the point of the video I don't know um, they the buses are rolling around cars are rolling around we have our uh, retail park up and running by the looks of things um, Ikea, we're going to possibly put something here because we still got a demand for um, commercial. So if we place commercial demand there, and I'd say let's place say three blocks there. No, I'll tell you what, we won't have three blocks there because obviously we want to just make this just so the buses go down. So the buses are the only, you know, attractiveness for this area. As in, possibly I might add a, a rail network, but because or metro, because of the money situation, we we can't. Um, and I like I said, I'm really sorry if it just went from um, nothing to something. I'm hoping the gap of this video isn't too big because I'm I want I obviously got to look back and find out what you know where it stopped but i've got a funny feeling it wasn't that much of a big gap but just to recap what we did today um we did uh some warehouse buildings here now this is what i was hoping that didn't exactly happen these now are gonna look kind of a bit odd hmm Maybe I should keep them 
I don't know. We'll see. We keep an eye on it. I don't want this to be too blatant because these are like small warehouses. So, um, as you can see, the traffic is going in. They're going, oh, yippee, we've got somewhere to spend some money. Let's go and spend some money in Ikea and and get some weird furniture and, and stuff. As you can see, we are getting a lot of traffic coming in. But it's all moving. It, it is, you know, it's moving, but it's moving slowly, but it is effectively moving. Um, and that's about it. We also connected all the bus network up here, but like I said, I don't know where the video stopped. So hopefully it showed me doing that. Um, in next episode, we will be possibly concentrating on something on this shoreline. Possibly a... Uh, where are we? like a pier a fishing pier with some some things to do with the water so you you know if we, they can go off and do something you know it, it's like an attachment to this retail park also i'm thinking of doing a little farm area up here so that is something possibly for next episode that we will make a little leisure um little li little res uh leisure <laughs> a leisure uh, activities around the uh, riverbed and have a farming area up the top as always guys it's been a pleasure uh, you know commentating on this game for you and showing you how my ideas go in my head um, as always guys if you like this video please give it the big thumbs up as it always gives me an idea of how um, how you guys are liking my videos if you've liked my uh, videos, please like the uh, channel, as in subscribe. And until next time, guys, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. Ta-ra for now.